Hello everyone. Um, I'm coming to you today uh, very humbled and very, very grateful for the position um, that I'm in today. Um, throughout my life, I've been able to uh, help and impact a lot of people's lives. And um, by me starting this channel up, I've been able to uh, help and impact the lives of thousands of people. And um, I just wanna thank all my subscribers you know, for the support. Um, I definitely couldn't do it without you guys. Uh, the people who've been with me through thick and thin as far as uh, true friends and family out there. Um, I wanna thank the creator, of course. I wanna thank um, the, an the angels, the Ang of Ales, the Angs of Ales that watch over me uh, every day. I wanna thank my family members who gave me the knowledge at a very young age. Um, I wanna thank the creator for having my soul descend um, in this dimension on this planet when the stars and planets were aligned around this earth at the moment of my birth to give me profound uh, wisdom and intuition and, and profound uh, understanding of knowledge. Um, I wouldn't trade it for nothing. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Okay, now let's get into it. Um, there's only two ways to stop. Uh, there's only two ways to get past reincarnation. There's only two ways okay um this 666 carbon light prism which is a light prism okay the uh the way to get out of this one of the ways is to detach all of your worldly attachments and to um come to a peace and a level of understanding in your life Okay, and situations and people in your life and to let go of any form of animosity or unnecessary hatred. Okay, um, because according to our comedic ancestors, when our soul moves out of our body after, uh, after the death process, okay, we don't go to directly to the Stargate in the uh, under the sun that we see in the sky the first place we go is to inner earth there is a a core there is a the center of the earth okay which is a chakra which is the earth's inner chakra point okay and it's the core of the earth Okay, as uh, there, there's there's a saying called as above, so below. There's also a saying called as within, so without. Okay, that's that's a new lesson for you guys. There's a sun out there and there's an inner sun in every single planet that magnetizes the planets to the sun's orbit. So when we move on, okay, out of this 666, we are magnetized to inner earth okay in inner earth we go da uh, we go down to the deep dark abyss and we meet an individual a character a being a deity known as anubis so we go down to the deep dark abyss and all of our chakras our whole soul essence meets anubis and when we meet anubis he shows us our life deeds and what, what we did right, what we did wrong, and if our heart is not light as a feather and we have too much hatred, animosity, and anger, he chooses what body we're going to have in the next life, whether it be an insect, a, uh, another human body, an animal body, or a plant body. It all is up to Anubis. Okay? And if you lived a pious life, you know, and how the uh, universal mother creator wanted you to live your life to the best of your ability, guess what? Your, your heart will be light as the feather and he'll have no choice but to let your soul be magnetized, okay? And uh, projected out to the atmosphere, but that can't happen unless the earth's inner sun magnetizes you to the stargate under the sun, which magnetizes you through uh, Orion, Sirius, then the center of the Milky Way into the fifth dimension. Okay, this is why all of the ancient ancestors 
around the planet mummified their dead. Remember what I said in the, in the mummification video, mummified. That means you're going back to the universal mother. The mother created the fifth dimension, the afterlife, which means that this life isn't the real life. The afterlife is the real life. Everything they did in their life was to, pair, to, to uh, prepare for the afterlife. Right here, we're asked backwards. Uh, we're using six chakras down, so we're just obsessed with this 3D, not concerned, not concerned about the 5D, okay? It's time to wake up and accept reality for what it is, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Um, because our Kemetic ancestors and our Dogon ancestors had all the answers, okay? All the answers. A lot of people think that they're getting real knowledge, but they're not getting real knowledge, they're getting backwards Greek bastardized information. And if you think it's bullshit, that's why the word Greek uh, means backwards. Ladies and gentlemen, the etymology of the word Greek means backwards. So all this Greek bullshit information that they got out of Alexandria and Memphis when Kemet was taken over was all backwards bastardized information because the pharaohs at that time knew that they were going to be invaded, okay? So they gave them back backwards bastardized information which was man-made bullshit religion. So all of that original Greek information that was given to uh, uh, Socrates and his people and the Ptolemies was backwards bastardized information the etymology of the word greek means backwards so all of you motherfuckers on uh, on my uh news feed hit me up on instagram facebook and uh on my comment section with the bullshit you can miss me with that because obviously a lot of you haven't been doing your homework and uh now that we're talking about homework i've been doing my homework for these past couple of months and one of the things that I've stumbled upon was the uh, the order of the cosmos according to our Dogon ancestors over there in Africa, in Mali. Hmm, very interesting. Let's look at the etymology of the word galaxy in these, uh, what do we have here? Five different languages. In uh, the Zulu language, to say Milky Way is Milkweg, M-E-L-K-W-E-G, -E Milkweg, which shows that the galaxy is the universal mother creator that birthed out all of her sons, her stars, to impregnate the planets, which were fem hold feminine energy, which give life all over the gal galaxy. Exactly. So that's what the word galaxy means in Zulu. Let's look at Chinese. In Chinese, their word for galaxy means silver river. In Hindu, in India, their language, the word galaxy in Hindu means the Ganges River of Heaven. In the Japanese language, the word galaxy means the river of heaven. In the Cherokee language, the Cherokee, the word, their word for galaxy means the way the dog ran away. Hmm. Why would it be the way the dog ran away? Because like I said, the God with the dog head, Anubis, who weighs your heart on the scale, the, came from the dog star and went into center earth, but he came from Sirius he was a real serious individual who came from Sirius, who was birthed out the center of the birth canal known as the Gal Axi. Okay? And he was a serious god with a dog head. That's why the, 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 uh, the Cherokee said the galaxy is where the dog star came from. Hello, Sirius the dog star was birthed out of the center of the galaxy according to the Cherokee and the Hopi who got their information from the Dogon. So now let's get our information of the cosmos from the Dogon. The Dogon believe that there was three original stars that were birthed out of the center of the galaxy um, millions, no, 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 hundreds of millions of years ago. 
Siri, we have Sirius B, which was the first Sirius A and Sirius T. Sirius B, according to the uh, Dogon, was known as Potolo. Sirius A, according to the Dogon, was known as Sigitolo. And Sirius C, according to the Dogon, was known as Imayatolo. Imayatolo had a Siri, had a, uh, a planet orbiting around it with amphibious entities on it known as Nomos, known as the Nomos. And if you think it's bullshit, this is where Atlantis and, and Lemuria came from because all melanated individuals were amphibious once. That's why when melanated individuals get out of the water, they get so ashy so quickly. This is why when melanated babies come out of the womb, they have large hook heads and soft spots, which were originally blowholes. Hmm. It's time to start waking up time to start doing your research buddy so like i said these nomos individuals represent who inky the serious gods okay and 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 everybody who was following following inky everybody who was following set all of the gods that were written down on the walls of the pyramids were all amphibious beings who came from the serious star constellations some of them followed set some of them followed inky and this is where we get our angels, demons, Anunnaki, draconian theology here. They are all amphibious beings known as the Nomos. And if you think it's bullshit, go watch the movie Hellboy. And Hellboy had a very good friend at Area 51. And what was his name? His name was Abe, Abraham. Hmm. Just like that biblical Abraham who was depicting a Nomos individual. And who was Abraham and Hellboy? The half fish, half man. Abraham, the Nomos God from the Sirius star system. This is why the Dogon tribe had the large eyes on, on the masks that they wear because they're portraying the amphibious Nomo gods that uh, mixed their DNA with other animals and created the first humans on this planet. Hmm, another Area 51 secret for you guys. I heard through the grapevine that the government... Uh, only allowed uh, people to view my videos unless they're subscribed to my videos. So now, if you are unsubscribed for me, you can't even see all of my videos unless you subs press the subscribe button. Um, that that's that's very interesting. You know what that means? That means that with the information you're getting from this channel, buddy, is the real knowledge that they don't want you to know. The real knowledge. That's what that means. But I knew it was coming, so it's not really that big of a surprise to me. So let's move on. The Dogon said that uh, Sirius B, Sirius A, and Sirius C, A, B, and C, were birthed out of the center of the galaxy, and they were the first stars to be birthed out. When these stars were birthed out, there was a giant war that broke out between Inky, okay, and uh, and uh, Set on the Sirius B star constellation. And when this happened, uh, um, his name was Ogo, according to the Dogon, they called Set Ogo. And Ogo uh, was uh, lost the battle, okay? And after a giant weapon was unleashed, his star died. They were all given uh, control over stars, these entities. And Ogo, when he lost, okay, his star died out. And guess what his star was? His star was none other than Saturn. Because the planet Saturn is obviously a dead star that, was, that fell, okay, and formed an ice ring as a prison to encase Ogo. And when this happened, Ogo went on his mission to capture a star, to capture a star, form a solar system around the star, and create his own realm and his own his own solar system to imprison souls. If you research ancient Dogon astronomy and astrology, this solar system is a rebellious uh, prison. It's a prison for rebellious souls against the universal mother. Go look it up. Go look it up, ladies and gentlemen. 
So Ogo captured this star, this star's gravitational pull, okay? And um, basically caused the other planets, okay, to orbit around the sun. And the earth was formed to be a prison planet for uh, the souls who were trapped under Ogo's matrix, under uh, Saturn's matrix, Set's matrix. Go look this up. Go look this up, people. There was originally four stars, Sirius, Sirius A, Sirius B, Sirius C, Sirius D was Saturn. I'm gonna repeat that, Sirius D was Saturn. Right now, as we speak, um, the Dogon referred to this planet as Imayatolo, orbiting around Sirius C. It's called Imayatolo, and that's where the Nomos come from, the amphibious Sirius gods that were written in hieroglyphics all over this planet. The bad ones are Draconians. The good ones are Anunnaki. Okay? Uh, the, 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 um, our Kemetic ancestors called them uh, Kim Anu. Kim Anu. Okay? That's what they were referred to as. And it's really sad because you have a whole bunch of people um, talking like NASA was the first entities that uh, created heliocentric knowledge. That's bullshit. Period, point blank. That's bullshit. NASA got all of their heliocentric truth from the Zulu, from the Dogon, and from the Kemites before the Kemites were taken over uh, by the uh, Turkish. Because the flat earth theology w did not even come to Kemet, okay, until it, uh, Kemet was overran and, and overthrown by Tur Turkish invaders and Greek invaders. And the pharaohs foresaw that. That's why they gave the Greeks false information. In Alexandria, in Memphis, if you think it's bullshit, do your own research, okay? The etymology of the word Greek means backwards because they got, they, they thought they were gonna raid uh, the, the knowledge and the tombs of the pharaohs and get real information. But our ancestors were tapped into higher, higher frequencies and foresaw the Caucasoids coming into their land. So they gave them backwards information. And that's also why they cursed their tombs because they knew their tombs were going to get raided. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. All you people uh, regurgitating this Greek bullshit. Greek means backwards. So all your knowledge coming from Greece is goddamn backwards. That's all I got to say. Unless you go into the Dogon, unless you go into the Zulu, unless you go into Ethiopia, unless you go into Samaria, unless you go into Egypt before they were taken over by Turks and Greeks, your information is backwards. And according to all of our ancient ancestors, if it's not in orbit, if it's not in motion, if it's not in movement, it's dead and died, dead, died off. It's died off. It's dead. And, and it's done, it's calcified, it's stagnant, it's not moving, it's dead. And that leads me to another subject. The, we got these people out here saying that we are uh, holographic, th this is a holographic universe. Now, but, but before I get into that, let me uh, e explain something to you real quick, okay? These three stars, according to the Dogon, Sirius B was known as Potolo, Sirius uh, A was known as Semitolo, and the center of the galaxy. If people think that the center of the galaxy don't exist, go to the Dogon and ask them what Po means. P-O. P-O is the center of the galaxy that births out all the stars, including our sun. Our sun uh, is a creation, okay, of... Sirius B energy and Saturnian energy to create the, the sun we do see, okay? That's why it's called the sun because it's the sun of the galaxy, okay? It's the sun of the original stars, okay? All of the, the, the stars you see are, are suns that are out of our distance of sight. So they look smaller in our sight because they're so far away. And, and like I said, anybody who disputes that, go take it up with the Dogon. Actually, NASA got their information of heliocentrism from the Dogon. 
So, like I said, that kills that whole topic. Now let's get into this topic. We got a whole bunch of people uh, on the internet talking about that this third dimension is a hologram, that this is a holographic universe. Well, if this is such a holographic universe, if I slap the shit out of you, or if I shoot you in the head, or I beat your goddamn head in with a baseball bat, is that holographic? If I if I hire if I <laughs> if I hire a heavyweight title fighter to knock your ass out, uh, that impact of the punch is that going to be holographic? If you fall off a cliff and your head splatters on the concrete, is that holographic? No, no, it's not holographic. So why are all these people saying that we're living in a holographic universe? You know why? Because they're getting backwards knowledge, like I said, and they're getting knowledge from individuals who think that they're enlightened, but they're getting their information from from smoking genetically modified weed, which I told you to stay away from, from uh, doing pills, doing uh, shrooms and tapping into the fourth dimension. But what you don't understand when you tap into the fourth dimension is there's a whole bunch of demons known as archons there that are going to give you a whole bunch of fucking backwards information because they're parasites off of you just like the the demon uh, reptilians underground as above so below so what these people don't understand is when they're getting this information that this world is holographic they're getting backwards information because the only way this world can be holographic to you is if your higher seven chakras and your 13th galactic galactic female chakra is activated then your merkaba light ship is activated which is counter rotating fields of light going around your aura field when your seven ch uh, chakras activate your 13th ultimate chakra okay you activate something called a merkaba light ship and um, what is a merkaba m-e-r means the light coming from ka means spirit so the light coming from your spirit the light's coming from your ka and the ba is the body so the merkaba is the light coming from the spirit uh through the body the light coming from the spirit through the body, the Merkaba light ship. And when this happens, our 666 goes from a 666 to a 616 because the 666 is um, liquid diamond. That's what mel melanin is. Melanin is liquid diamond. We are fish out of water, okay? We are amphibious beings. We are the 666. And to be crystallized, to be Christ-like, to be Christ-like and to go up with Christ, which is the magnetic sun, our 666 is going to have to go to a 616. 616 is 13. Your 13th chakra has to be activated. To do that, as above, so below, when your 13th chakra is activated, it changes your uh, your molecular structure and your subatomic um, being from a 666 to a 616, and you go from liquid carbon to solid carbon which is diamond this all the diamonds you see in the jewelry store stores and on tv and out there in the world are six one sixes i bet you your scientists your biologists your archaeologists won't tell you that will they Bring all of your bring all of your astronomers, bring all of your astrologers, your biologists, your scientists, your ar archaeologists, all of these religious so-called gurus and bring them right here. And I bet you I'll burn every single one of them. I'll burn every single one of them. I promise you. I promise you. So like I'm saying, when we are perfectly aligned, when the earth is perfectly aligned with the sun in the center of the galax galaxy, um, Any time from 2020 to 2022, the magnetic sun beneath the sun is going to magnetize our souls through the sun. And if our Merkaba light ship isn't activated, okay, because we've been uh, carrying out bullshit deeds or we've been putting bullshit poison in our bodies, we're going to be sunk down into sinkholes in inner earth instead of uh, Merkaba activation through the stargate. OK, and leaving to the fifth dimension hole. That's what the Merkaba light ship does. It sends your whole body over to the other side 
whole. There's only two ways to escape reincarnation. One is when you die, your, your heart is light as a feather and Anubis sends your soul through the stargates. The other is for your Merkaba light ship to be activated, okay? And uh, for your whole body, your whole being to be um, projected through the center of the Milky Way whole. You'll have a whole body in the next dimension. That is Merkaba alchemy, Merkaba activation at its best. That is what they don't want you to know. And if you think it's bullshit, just go research the story of Enoch. Go research the story of Enoch that they intentionally took out of the out of the Bible. He activated his Merkaba light ship and he was magnetized to other light ships that took him to Ma, the center of the galaxy, into the fifth dimension. The story of Enoch and they were chopping people's heads off and killing and torturing people who were trying to put the book of Enoch back in the Bible. But hmm, your goddamn Vatican and your bullshit homosexual leaders sure wanted to take the knowledge and the alchemy of the Merkaba and Enoch out of the Bible, didn't they? Woo! I'm on a roll. I am on a roll. And I'm telling you, in 2016, it's all going to get exposed, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? So like I said, mer means light from, ka means spirit, ba means body. Okay? Mer, ka, ba. The light coming from your spirit, okay? That's coming from your body. Okay? And when this happens... Your seven chakras create a wheel going one way. Your six chakras create a wheel going the other way, which is which resembles orbit, the orbits of the planets around the stars. That all that orbit goes around our heart chakra, and we're magnetized through the star gates, through the center of the Milky Way, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? And you can think of the Milky Way as a, a giant uh beehive if you will okay that's what the center of the milky way is the suns represent the bees the masculine bees with the stinger because the radiation coming from the suns it stings for a moment just like the bees so the suns of the galactic bees all orbiting around orbiting around the galactic mother which is the queen bee in the beehive we're in the galactic beehive and what do the masculine bees do they go out to plants and they pollinate plants they give life to feminine plants and they produce life the plants represents the planets so the stars the masculine stars give life to uh, certain planets that are capable of holding feminine energy to produce life and this is happening all over the galaxy. And this is not the only galaxy, ladies and gentlemen. There's hundreds of trillions of other galaxies out there. As above, so below, ladies and gentlemen. If you think it's bullshit, look up the Men in Black movie. Go watch the Men in Black movie. They showed you that the subatomic orbit, okay, of the electrons and protons around the nucleus uh, is, is the basic level of creation in this universe. Then... They get denser and create molecules which forms tiny sand particles which come together and form, form tiny rocks, come together.